Yo, peeps, it's Triple L, and let's keep talking about the Nintendo Switch, because, man, things are awesome. Disgaea 5, the latest entry in the Disgaea series, is coming to the Switch. That is phenomenal. And the best thing is, it's going to be in release date, for Japan, at least. But, man, this is exciting. Disgaea 5 is a strategy RPG. This is the kind of game that you could sink hundreds of hours into. I've sunken in about 133 hours into this guy of four. That is barely nothing compared to some other really, uh, I guess, into it people. But man, this guy of five, it's coming to the Switch. I'm pretty happy. I never got this guy of five this time around because I didn't have the console at the time. But now that it's coming on the Switch, I feel like this is fate kind of just telling me, hey, good move holding off on this guy of five. Anyway, not the point. Here's what we know about this Gaia 5. We know that it's gonna be, um, what, are they calling it anything important? No, they're just calling it this Gaia 5 complete. It's gonna have all the DLC, it's gonna have the eight bonus scenarios, it's gonna have four fan favorite characters. You know, pretty much all the DLC that was released when it was on the Play PlayStation 4 is coming packed in for this Gaia 5 complete on the Nintendo Switch. This is excellent. This is great. This means that the Sky Games are coming to Nintendo Switch if this does well. And man, if it does well, I'm really happy. So, I'm pretty excited for this. Guys, uh, the Sky 5, like I said, is a strategy game. If you've never seen it, um, I have a link in the description. I'm also playing the trailer here in the background. As you can see, it's pretty bombastic. Uh, I do recommend checking out some trailers, uh, maybe go check out Nintendo's channel, check out any of the Sky 5 trailers. It's a really fun entertaining game and that it's coming to the Switch from NIS, I'm actually pretty happy. Maybe this means we're going to be getting more support from NIS themselves as a company and their games in general are pretty fun, so this is a pretty good sign. Now it's coming on launch day in Japan. From, uh, the game itself has already been translated, it's already been localized, the PS PS4 version has already been localized. So I would say maybe like it would have a five month window between uh, Japan and America. I, I think that's how it would work because everything's already done for the game. So I would assume that we would get it within five months of the Nintendo Switch release. Now I have checked the official Nintendo website and we still don't really have any information on the third party release games. So that's, uh, it's gonna be a bit of a time, but anyway, the Sky 5 coming to Nintendo Switch. It's coming, man, I'm pretty happy. The list of the JRPGs and the RPGs from Japan is already pretty strong. Um, just with this and Zelda, I think I'm pretty set. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're a fan of the Sky 5 and let me know if you're considering possibly getting the Sky 5 for the Nintendo Switch. Thanks. Anyway, guys, till next time, I hope you have a great day. Oh, and stay tuned for more Nintendo Switch stuff, because that's going to be coming up, up throughout the day.